Donald Trump is the wrong president for our country. This election is about preserving our democracy. Donald Trump didn't create the initial division. The division created Trump. He only made it worse. We're being taken down the wrong road by a president who has pitted one against the other. We have got to vote for Joe Biden like our lives depend on it. If you think things cannot possibly get worse, trust me, they can and they will if we don't make a change in this election. If we have any hope of ending this chaos, we have got to vote for Joe Biden like our lives depend on it. If Donald Trump is reelected, all the progress we have made will be in jeopardy. The future of our democracy is at stake. The future of our economy is at stake. The future of our planet is at stake. Over these past few years, America's body politic has been weakened. The divisions have been growing deeper. The anti-Semitism, the anti-Latino, the anti-immigrant fervor, the racism in Charlottesville, where the KKK didn't even bother to wear their hoods. And in Minnesota, where the life was squeezed from Mr. Floyd. Donald Trump, didn't create the initial division. The division created Trump. He only made it worse. And our current federal government is dysfunctional and incompetent. It couldn't fight off the virus. In fact, it didn't even see it coming. More than 150,000 people have died and our economy is in shambles because of a virus that this president downplayed for too long. And here at home, as George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and a never-ending list of innocent people of color continue to be murdered, stating the simple fact that a Black life matters is still met with derision from the nation's highest office. We're facing the worst public health crisis in 100 years and the worst economic collapse since the Great Depression. We are confronting systemic racism and the enormous threat to our planet of climate change. And in the midst of all of this, we have a president who is not only incapable of addressing these crises, but is leading us down the path of authoritarianism. We can judge by content of character rather than color of skin. We can care for one another. Americans' eyes have been opened, and we have seen in this crisis the truth that government matters and leadership matters. Folks who know they cannot win fair and square at the ballot box are doing everything they can to stop us from voting. They're closing down polling places in minority neighborhoods. They're purging voter rolls. They're sending people out to intimidate voters and they're lying about the security of our ballots. We have got to vote like we did in 2008 and 2012. This election is about preserving our democracy. During this president's term, the unthinkable has become normal. He has tried to prevent people from voting, undermined the U.S. Postal Service, deployed the military and federal agents against peaceful protesters. This president is not just a threat to our democracy, but by rejecting science, he has put our lives and health in jeopardy. Together, we must build a nation that is more equitable, more compassionate, and more inclusive. I'm a lifelong Republican. 
But that attachment holds second place to my responsibility to my country. That's why I've chosen to appear at this convention. In normal times, something like this would probably never happen. But these are not normal times. It's a path that's led to division, dysfunction, irresponsibility, and growing vitriol between our citizens. Continuing to follow that path will have terrible consequences for America's soul because we're being taken down the wrong road by a president who has pitted one against the other. It's a fitting legacy for our brother, but George should be alive today. Breonna Taylor should be alive today. Ahmaud Arbery should be alive today. Eric Garner should be alive today. Stephon Clark or Tatiana Jefferson, Sandra Bland, they should all be alive today. So it's up to us to carry on the fight for justice. My dad, Mark Anthony Urquiza, should be here today, but he isn't. He had faith in Donald Trump. He voted for him, listened to him, believed him and his mouthpieces when they said that coronavirus was under control and going to disappear. Only pre-existing condition was trusting Donald Trump, and for that, he paid with his life. And if we want to keep the possibility of progress alive in our time, if we want to be able to look our children in the eye after this election, we have got to reassert our place in American history. We were born of an idea that every single solitary person given half a chance.